testing, testing, testing. Oh man, I think this is has become my most favorite thing to do uh, with my free time. P on a scale of one to ten, how excited are you to do this right now? Two. Nice. Me too. I am too excited. That's what he meant by that. So, first thing I want to ask because I'm actually curious. Actually, no. Um, I, I just want to see how truthful you guys are going to be. Uh, Kevin. Yep. I'm just, turn, I'm just turning off my ringer. Okay. Have you guys? I want a truthful answer. Ever in your life, ever actually. This is just. I just. Just. Just the first thing on top of my head before we get into any conversation. Do you guys ever actually want to be rappers? Never. Never. I knew he was gonna lie, P. I knew he was gonna lie. I knew he was going to lie. P, you ain't never, ever, ever thought about being a rapper. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> you, okay, well, okay. You know that. Uh, it wouldn't so happen to be some records out there in the world, would it? <laughs> one specific one featuring a specific friend of yours. <laughs> He got it. He got that record. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't give him that record. But but the record featuring Gucci Mane that you did happen to make one time is in the world somewhere. I don't have it, but I've heard it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know the last time I actually heard it. Where? Take off. Take off. Send it to me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, <sighs> from that record, a whole another song came out of that record from Migos. Yeah. It was simple. Really? Yeah. Rich and famous. Really? Yeah. How? Well, Takeoff got on the record, but he said this line in the song, and we ended up taking that line and making it the hook for nigga. I want to be rich and famous. Really? <laughs> rich That's crazy. Famous. I didn't know that. Man, that first project they had was so insane. Yeah. What was that first project called they had? Wire In. Wire In, the first original Wire yeah. In. And man, I'll never forget, man, hearing that project. And I want to say, I think I heard the second one first, but I remember, it, I, it, I think it was 2013. Was it 2013? Yeah, that's when we put it out. 2013. We put it out June. We put it out the week before birthday, one week before birthday bash, 2013. 2013, man, it was Bando, bro. And I'll never forget watching the video. I was on my little sister's laptop, and it was like I had never heard a flow like this mm -hmm. ever in my life, ever. And it was like, I think it was I think it was one of those things where the first time you heard it, instantly you was like. You knew it. Whoa, mm -hmm. this is fucking crazy. Was it like that when y'all first found out about yep. them? Mm -hmm. it, it was like you heard it. It was like, oh, this is fucking. Because they had Bando and they had FEMA. And I remember, I never forget. I heard FEMA first. Watching them, them, them videos. Mm -hmm. them two, them, they had two oh, they, they were out before y'all had them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. We, we, well, we redid, we redid uh, Bando. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Bando and FEMA, they had like some super low, low budget, but hood videos. Yeah, but. Man, it's so crazy. Those videos be the ones. Yeah. Mm. I think they shot Bando in the bluff. It was a house in the bluff. No one ever knew that. Mm. Oh, before we get into this, I actually want to say, guys, welcome to a safe place. This is the 13th episode. I know you guys are saying, where the fuck is Mitch? I don't know if Mitch ate something bad this morning, but he's throwing up right now. And hopefully he comes and checks in with us. We know how much you guys love Mitch and he loves you guys too. But he's in the bathroom right now, but I'm sure he'll check in. Um, And we still are not canceled. So... Um, we have a very special guests today, two of the most, some of the most important men in my life, you know what I'm saying, Coach K and fucking QCP. A lot of people call you QCP, like people be like QCP and be like, P? But they just like call you QCP, I don't, I don't know why, but two guys who have been so inspirational, monumental, and just, um, you know, just f for founding fathers in my life which you guys would not know um have heard or ever seen my face if it wasn't for these guys so this is a very special episode if not the most special one to me ever um how you guys doing shit i'm good doing man. doing good it's great to have you guys thank you thank you thank you we made it, it to a safe place we made it to a safe place i want to let you guys know that everything you say here is confidential and nobody will ever hear this is a safe place you can get it all off your chest this is great. I think this will be um, a very special episode. I want you um, to know how, how important you've been in our life also. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I appreciate that because we're going to get to it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, man, I, I'm pretty sure you guys have talked about it, but this is for the younger audience that you, who, who may not know. What, what started QC? Because mm. you had it first, right? Didn't he, didn't he yeah, if he had a label, we, we actually met through Gucci, man. 
Yeah. At the time, I was managing Gucci, man. And P had it. He had his own. Yeah, he had his own independent label. But him and Gucci was was super tight. Mm -hmm. and still, super still tight. tight. Like best friends. You know what I'm saying? And when we used to be on the road, like Gucci don't really like a lot of people think. You know, see a lot of artists they try with entourages. He never really. He used to. Mm -hmm. But when he got, you know, once you, you get in some trouble and you know you had to probably go spend. You know, he, he went and spent a couple of jail stints that affect your business. And he knew, you know, like. Traveling sometimes that entourage, you know, niggas a lot of niggas is out there really be they ain't assets, they liabilities, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. when he the last time he had got out, you know, what I'm saying he was still on like probation, and we had to, we had to, you know, we had to, we had to put a list together where he was going, where he was traveling, and, and he couldn't travel, on. so he couldn't have felons and no, you know, right? So, when he got off the road and we, we started back moving, it would be just like me, him. It might be like two other people mm. or three people. Everybody had jobs, and then P start coming out on the road, and I was like, "Damn, who, who, you know, who's this?" Mm. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, I've heard of P. He had a lot of, you know, he, you know, he's his name was ringing. In a, lot <laughs> yeah, a lot of stories. Yeah, a lot of stories. And we kind of we got cool, man. We actually got real cool because we'd be out there just kicking it, like, you know, was it L.A. or mm. whether it was Miami, you know, different places. We all just be kicking it. Was it called QC then? No, at first it was um, Dirty Dollar. Dirty Man. Dollar label? Yeah, Dirty Dollar Entertainment. Dirty Dollar Entertainment. A lot, of, a lot of people don't even know. Thank God you that's, changed that name. A lot of people don't know that's who we first did yeah. deal with Migos. It was Dirty Dollar. Then we. Oh. Mm. What made that change that you was like, that ain't it? Well. <laughs> yeah, me, me and my business, we, I had another friend, me and him, was, we was trying to do it together and just things. Oh, okay, so he took so, the name. Yeah, I just you know what I'm saying he well, he, he he kept it in there. Well, we never heard of that one. Yeah, so, um, the thing that we wanted got. to clean it up. Wanted to clean it up. Right, 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 right. That Real interesting fun. conversation though. I remember when me and him was having this conversation. He was like, "Man, we, we got to clean it up because we're gonna be going in these offices." He's like, "I bet." He was like, "Coach, man, whatever name we come up with, if the letter Q was in it, he's like my best friend. Name was Q. He got he got murdered." He was like, he my guardian angel. Mm. He's like, man, if the letter Q in it, we gonna be, we gonna be blessed. We mm. gonna be covered. You know what I'm saying? So, man, we was going back and forth and back and forth for names, and then we finally came up with QC. And, you know, and been blessed. And been blessed. But the crazy, this, this is a real. I'm giving you, I'm gonna give you a real story. Mm -hmm. All the artists that were signed to us hated the name. Really. Yes, they did. I never knew that. Man, they, they said it sounded too corporate. They said it was because it was dirty dollars and then it go to quality control. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So, man. Really? Yeah, yeah. You know, they was young, though. They, they, was young. Sign, they just wanted to sound like yeah. more like yeah. street hood, something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's so crazy. I never I never was told that. No, that is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, <clears throat> and at the time, did y'all have... Did y'all even have any true expectations? Like, did y'all ever expect to like, like was it was the goal always to go extremely big, or was it just like let's start a label, let's get to? Is that the man, the myth, the legend? Ladies and gentlemen, the man, myth, the legend, who you all been waiting for? Like, did y'all have? Did y'all ever in, amongst each other's in private conversations set? Goals or like this high, or was it just like man, let's just do this? And was it just like at the time, just like let's just do a label, or was it like was the goal to go? Like what 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 was your expectations in the beginning? The first hoodies we made was QC the label, the biggest independent. So that's mm -hmm. what I was like. Yeah, y'all yeah, pushed independency very heavy. In the yeah, beginning. yeah, we I, be the, I mean because I think all, all the labels that came before us, especially out the south, they were independents, mm -hmm. the cash monies. You what? know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Cash Money, the No Limits, the Suave Houses, you know what I'm saying? Like all these labels was independent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Majority of the labels from the South. Yeah. LaFace was independent, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. And we looked up to LaFace too, but you know, LaFace kind of built their label off, you know, it was R&B, it was pop, it, and it was rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We had, we, you know, yeah. trap, street rapper, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 understood. So like Cash Money. Cash, really. Yeah, Cash Money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but you said, but the question was like, was the goal like? Did y'all ever speak about like the? Because what, what, how many years are we now? Ten. So ten years oh, ago, ten. did y'all ever think about 
where to be in ten years, or was it just like let's just like? No, I think I think I think in the beginning, we we were sort of like in a box where we felt like being independent was that was the thing. Oh, I'm independent. I, you know what I'm saying? I, mm-hmm. This mine or whatever, whatever, and nobody, you know, I'm funding this, and but you know, as you continue to just go on in business, and when the business get to being big, and the budgets get bigger, and the, it costs more money, and you paying for everything out of your pocket, and you know, when the money, when the money coming back, you still gotta, you know, and then still yeah. fund it or whatever. You start realizing that, you know, if you going if you gonna grow, you gotta. You know, independent, independent is cool, but if you want to grow and get to another label, I mean, to get to another level, then you got to be open-minded to, you know, partnerships and. But the question is, ten years ago, did y'all ever speak about where it would go? Is what I'm asking. Like, did y'all ever think it would get this big? I don't think we, I, nah, because we was you, when you no, in it, when you in it, you just going. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we knew we just want. Man, our thing was breaking artists, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and you know, building these artists up, making them su- successful, you know, and, and doing that, our brand would grow. But I don't think we never, like, set a goal like, you know what? In ten years, yeah. we're yeah. gonna be here. Well, nah. he, you said something about the 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 independence and and the and the the you know structure of it. So, at what point? At what point did you feel like it was it made sense to do the Motown partnership? And then at what point, like, was it a thing of like it was getting too big and like financially it was yeah. I was spending too much? Yeah. You know, like we need a partner, yeah. or was it like we need some like some like some teamwork, or like was like was it a financial thing, or was it just like a it, like it, a, it, it, it was both? Because yeah. you think about it, I think at one time if you if you go back and look at if you go back and look at that first um, was that the first artist with Motown? <laughs> no, no. I think it was OG Mako. OG Mako okay. first. But y'all yeah, did 300 I, I, first. Yeah, yeah, 300 yeah, first. 300 first. 300 and, first. And then that was just a distribution deal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so even with that, that was just a distribution yeah. deal. We were still fun, on funding, funding sort everything. of everything. Yeah. So when we, I think at one time when you go back to the um, to the DJ drama, was it that the first like group mistake we did? Yeah, DJ drama, the first mix. So if you go back and look on that cover, it was like it was like. Ten artists. It was like ten niggas on there. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So think about, think about, and back then this it was, was called Solid it was in squares. Too. Yep, yeah. right. Solid Foundation when it yeah. was in squares. Yeah. They had everyone's face in the square. Mm-hmm. I yeah. remember that one. It was also a blue cover. Yeah. So if you think about it, think about, think about just being two individuals, and think about having funding to pay ten people. Yeah. Think about funding Jesus. ten people. You you paying for. Yeah, everything then, travel tr- yeah tr- everything travel videos then, videos styling ra- styling radio Damn. um you know marketing you Let know ask this- y'all hopefully it's not too personal how long were y'all in the red till y'all got to the black <laughs> shit years 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 Damn. years if you don't know what the red and the black is the red is you know the money that you spent that you have not recouped and the black is when you recoup and get into like the green and start making you know, return on your investment. So you guys say years, five plus. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah. Because the thing is, label cause, five cause, cause, years I mean, when you when you when you're in a place of independence, you know, you don't have, you know, you you don't have budgets or you don't have, you know, a partner that with let's say capital mm-hmm. have capital that you can use. You know, what I'm saying for these artists. So it's like you might go into the black. I remember it was times. This is a real story. Me and P was like, we was down almost to zero, mm-hmm. but. We had a record going, and you know we had to promote, so we had to double down. Mm-hmm. If we double down, it takes us back to zero. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's ebbs and flows. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like peaks and valleys. You know what I mean? Like you you can get here, but then you can come back down. Especially when you know, we, like you said, we had ten artists, and so, at, at this point, we was trying to move everybody. At one point, at the same time, yeah, yeah I remember yeah. At the same, all of them. <laughs> and, and then think about it: you got one, you might got one artist that's making money that you're making profit with. But if you got nine other artists that's Damn. not making no money, and it was like that too, right? No, it was. Yeah. Of course, you know it was like yeah. that. <laughs> Come on, <that's> a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know what I'm but you dreaming big, and you trying to, you trying to, you trying to expand, and you trying to make everybody grow because you thinking big. You so even everyone. Yeah, yeah, you feel what I'm saying. So you, you make, you might be making profit right here, but the profit that you making, you got to put that back into the artists that you making profit with, and try to invest whatever you got left over into i look at running a label almost like ha- having a family 
And so, like, what what is it like on the other side, the personal scale of like personalities and like you know, like people feel like, oh, you're giving more attention to that artist, you know what I'm saying, over this artist. So like, I always people, I always tell people I can't give much advice to a lot of artists who are young artists who come to me about in labels because I say my label is like a, it's like my father and uncle, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not we the, the way our relationship is spent. Everything is in house, yeah. you know, opposed to like. I don't, even, I don't even know how he ran in other labels, you know, so I can't even really speak on it, but it's a lot of personal relationships that, not relationships, but like things that go into it. Because like, just like he's saying, if, if one artist is popping and you're trying to break another, but it, it, it becomes, does it not become like a little difficult trying to like... It becomes real difficult, man. I mean, you know, I've never forget when me and Pete started. I had been in the business prior let's say 15 years you see what i'm saying yeah I yeah yeah and and i would tell him i was like man you know you can't mix we everything is business we can't mix the personal with the business you know what i'm saying but that's not easy. but now so I'm, I'm just going back to what you were saying when building a label in a family it's hard not to do that you know what i'm saying because you know like like you said. Because y'all care. Because we, we care. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We are father figures. We are uncles. We are brothers. You know what I'm saying? To our artists. So it's like, it comes to a point where it's like, shit, we all in. Mm -hmm. And there's it's, it's no separation. You know what I'm saying? But there is moments where we like, come on, man, let's like let's get to the business. But and then sometimes the personal can, you know, can get in the way. But it's, it's hard. It's mm -hmm. really, really, really hard. So I want to talk about, just for a brief second, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I want to talk about 2015 to 2016 that change with Lil Yachty coming to QC <clears throat> so uh, the point right before me I never forget being in high school and watching y'all you guys so the capital deal was not when when are you guys first not my deal my deal is, 2015. is April it was Motown, we did Motown. Motown. With, with yeah, Motown 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 in, in 2015 yeah. and I would you guys not say that when I came to capital Things kind of amped up a bit, I would say. I mean, oh, this, no, this, no. I'm going to tell you, it happened. This, this this is the real. When we did the deal with Motown, Migos was still at U300. Mm -hmm. We still had yep. an obligation there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So we was going into a new home, you know, and we had one artist, OG Mako, mm -hmm. that was in that deal. You know what I mean? Two. Two artists, OG Mako and um, Young, Young Greatness. Greatness. And Young yeah. Greatness mm -hmm. in that deal, you know? R.I.P. to Young Greatness. R.I.P. to Young Greatness. R. R. And you know, you know, lo and behold, we in a new building. They trying to learn us. We trying to learn them because we come from a place of independence. It's super. It's corporate. It's you know you got to turn it, things. When you in. do that, is it different, dude? Like if you like it, like because then you got someone telling you no, and you got no. Nah, they wouldn't. No, nah, they wouldn't tell us no. Not at all because no, it's still, it's, it's still, okay. still our label. You okay. know what I'm saying? They just our partners. You know okay. what I'm saying? But still our label. But you know we had to learn them, man. It was you know. You know, we was coming from a place where our star, our star artist was still at another label. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We still had, we still had a uh, some left over there that we had to do. You know, so OG Mako you know, had a, it was a moment. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, we was getting we, greatness was developing on uh, developing artists. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, lo and behold, when you came, it, you know, I'm gonna lie, it, it, it bought. Some fresh, same, same. <laughs> <laughs> some fresh new air yeah. to our business, and, and and for real, it changed the trajectory of what our business looked like. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because you know we were known trap street rappers. You know what I'm saying? Here you come, colorful. Was it southern? Do you think y'all were more so on like chilling circuits, like southern? Nah, we wasn't chilling circuit because because we had records because Migos was killing the college right. scene. Mm -hmm. Like they was really killing the college scene. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you know. The music, about every 10 years, music takes a change. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we're seeing that right now. You know what I'm saying? And during that time, things were coming, were leaving downloads. You know, this one iTunes was, this is this is pre-streaming. This is iTunes, you know what I'm saying? Mixtape, yeah, mixtape. Mixtape and iTunes. Mm -hmm. 2016, you come, SoundCloud, mm -hmm. That's the first that's streaming. The beginning of streaming. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the beginning of streaming. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the beginning of streaming. Which is the beginning of the entire well, let, switchover but, but, but in RCAA. So, you, 
you don't think my mixtape? They, they, no, no, not my mixtape. Right. What was the What was the other? Um, uh, that live mixtape. Live mixtape. Live mixtape. Oh, that piss, that my mixtape. Like, they was the first streamers. Yeah, yeah but like but you couldn't take it with you. Mm-hmm. You had to go to their site. And you had to go listen to it on their site, on their player, on, on their, their player, media player, on their media player. Mm-hmm. You couldn't take it with you. Yeah. So, Sound, SoundCloud was the first. You know, like it's a switch over. And switch that's over. when RAA started counting the streams. Started counting streams. Same thing streams. count with those websites, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. And then that's when, because that's when it all started to become like basically we were getting the music away for free. And yep. It was just a promotional yep. tool for us to go on the road. I think people go, used to pay to pay, pay live mixtapes to put mixtapes. Oh, they did. Yeah, to yeah. Be in the front yeah. of the ones. Yeah, they was paying. They was paying too. It wasn't a lot. <laughs> they did. Really? Yeah. yeah, they were paying for yeah. mixtapes. Yeah, man. yeah. yeah. Sir, sir, but they didn't pay for streams. They it, it, paid for it, the whole mixtape. Yeah, to be able to host the mixtape. It wasn't a lot of money. Like twenty grand, something like that. But I remember we used to play. Hey, we would go to that. Man, shit, live mixtapes told. They was yeah. You know, then my mixtape was a new one. Yeah, they came on the scene. My mixtapes, yeah. Yeah. Our mixtapes came in crazy though. They yeah, was they yeah, because, they because they they had a. They but, had, but it was something different though about that line. Mixtape, they came remember, with the streaming, the numbers. You could actually like yep. it was my mixtape. My mixtapes mm-hmm. did, they had, and they had the app. Mm-hmm. They was the, they first, the first ones, ones with the app. Real integrated app. Well, integrated mm-hmm. app. It was the first mm-hmm. one with that. But but then before all that was World Star. Yeah, yeah. World Star was for like singles and videos Most and stuff definitely. like that. Oh, that was I was one I you know yeah, like that's, that's, how, you, that's, like, like, that's how you break, that was one of the big marketing hey, tools. Pete, World Star to, we gotta get the big box, the top box, the top box. <laughs> that cost it right. You had to pay that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then once your it. artist start popping though, me yeah. and him, we gonna mm-hmm. go. Hey, listen. Man, you know you want this. Yeah. You know you want this Migos video yeah. for your top box. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. then if we give you Migos, then you got. You gotta take other artists to go up under. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So we've been leveraging. Yeah. So you might look up QC. We might have the top box and the two bottom yeah. box. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Hey man, you, you, you gotta <laughs> you gotta play it how you play. But, I'm, but I'm, I'm, to go back to that though, yes, she was. And the crazy shit is with Migos. As soon as Migos, we got out the 300. We got out the 300 uh, litigation to deal, and 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 we was Gary bring them over to. Um, no, no, we wasn't even out the deal, right? Because we still had this last album. But once we once we agreed upon terms, we we put it we put a record out called Bad and Bougie. Do it look like I'm left off Bad and Bougie? What'd you say? Do it look like I'm left off Bad and Bougie? Yeah. And guess what we did? This is the first time since we've been QC that we put a song up. We leaked the song up on SoundCloud. Mm. Yeah. Cause we would usually go through the mixtape sites. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And, and we yep, we leaked it on on, on on SoundCloud and that shit. I never forget. Everything changed. Bro, them boys went on a roll about three weeks later. I remember them coming out the road like, hey man, everybody know this song. Like three weeks from when we put it out. Yeah. You know, and then everything changed. Yeah, it was out of here. <laughs> yeah, 2016 and on, everything completely. But everything changed. changed. Yeah. Also, also like what really changed for us though was that's when we un- we started understanding that it was just bigger than music. Because music was like, back then we was just like, we just trying to get paid off the music, but it's like when you came, yes. and all the brands started mm-hmm. coming, and all the different corporations, you know what I'm saying? And you would think that we would have been getting them opportunities, big as those guys was back then, but it, we never had got no opportunities until you came. Like, like you came in, and that's when all the, and then once we started seeing all these brands and these different corporations coming in wanting to do these checks, we went on a run. These, these multi-million yeah. dollar deals, we went on a run. Yeah. Like Yadi, yeah. What you think about this? Let's hey, go man. <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> to the moon. Right? Yeah. No one to under, no one to ever actually understand that run because we did so much in a short time frame. Yes, we did. It, yeah. it went under everyone's. A two year period, man. So before yeah. Bud was no targets, right? Or nothing. Like nothing. Bugs, uh, Axe. Uh, <laughs> I thought maybe don't, don't give me stuff. No, no, it wasn't. We're going to run it. It, 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 it. No, it wasn't. It wasn't nothing. No, we never I think had. the first thing we did, I never, I ain't going to. We did this Reebok. Because it was mm. like the first thing. Me and my man, we used to battle. We used to fight. <laughs> it was like, boat. I don't think that was can't. first, but that was one of the first big ones. It's like, boat, you can't. We don't, we, we do, <laughs> we're doing a show. Man, you got to wear the Reeboks, dog. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. It's so crazy. That's when we pulled the Reebok deal. Huh? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. first one was yeah. Yeah. But, but, the crazy but, thing is before the Reebok deal, I was oh, yeah. wearing yeah. Reebok. Yeah, yeah, you were. But it wasn't until they told me you can only <laughs> oh, wear them. That's the one that we were about. Because they were like, well, you can only wear them. Then it was a battle. Then it was like, Bo yeah. was like, all right, which ones? And you start wearing the club C's. Yeah. Then they used to try to send yeah, you. They tried to put me in a goddamn. 
Yeah. And then, then when Sprite came though, after Sprite, shout out, out to Reebok. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Reebok yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, out once to we Reebok. did the Sprite though, when Sprite came, and shout out to Maverick. That, yep. that Sprite deals with Maverick. Yep. Yeah. So I saw the uh, Maverick and that. Um, that sure Sprite. was Maverick card. Yeah. How, how long do you guys want to be doing this? So it's not fun no more. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel. So I'm, I'm making that fun no more. I, I, the well, egos, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. The the um, I'm a creative, you know what I'm saying. I'm not mm-hmm. a transactional. I'm being, I mean, I'm just talking for me right now. I'm not a real transactional person. Mm-hmm. I know if if you do dope shit, the money will come. You know what I'm saying. So the moment that I feel like the creative is gone, then I'm probably tap out. Tap you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's that's the fun part. Because at this at this g- gesture where me and PR now, it's all about building next. You know what I'm saying? Because like, we. We made it through ten years, which is hard to do. So now it's like finding a new young execs. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, to artists like a, a little baby or Yachty and turn their brands into big brands. You know what I'm saying? And and, and yeah, finding the new execs that can like so our shit can. Y'all keep the doing. new execs now. Y'all the new execs. Yeah. That's you know what it. Saying? What are some things that you had? Like, what's one thing y'all had to learn the hard way? Don't put your heart into the business. Yeah. Mm. What do you mean by that? Meaning like, it's business. Remember I said earlier about the personal and the yeah. business? When you leave with your heart, your mm-hmm. heart can get broken. Man. So what y'all saying, like it's always business at the end of everything, basically? I mean, so why do we come together? It's all, it's bit, you leave with business, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Everything else, you know, like, it, it, everything else comes with it, but you leave with business. Because if you don't, if you leave personal and with your heart, you get that, like, that. But I think, but I, I agree, but I think at some point, I think it's what made us or made you guys what you are, right? Like, I'll never forget first coming to the label for the first time. On the outside looking in, you hear all these stories about record labels. I remember mm-hmm. my parents used to be like, uh, <laughs> my parents and people will always be like, now, now these record labels, you you can't take nothing they give you. Because anything they give you, <laughs> they're going to try to, they're going to try to, uh, you paying for it yeah. yourself. Yeah. And I remember yeah. people would always take me shopping yeah. in the beginning. <laughs> And for my mom would go, she'd say, nah, don't get none because you're going to have to pay it back. And I used to be shopping P, you know, I'd look at a pair of jeans, I'd be like, he, he'd be like, get what you want. I'd be like, damn, but I can't afford these. I can't pay this back. But he, but that was never the case, but ever. I'm glad I'm glad you didn't say that. But yeah. I'm glad you said that because that'd be the miss. Um, but in your case, but see, that's that's what I'm saying when y'all saying the business versus leading with your heart. All yeah. these things that y'all have done, a lot of them, have been from the heart. Yeah. Most definitely, but you you paying out our personal pocket. Yeah. Absolutely. And no matter how somebody might try to sugarcoat it, you still paying for it. Still, but you know what your mm-hmm. statements is. You know what you know. Mm-hmm. what I'm saying you know we done we done broke bread. Absolutely. We're doing a lot of it. You ain't never seen nothing come off. Absolutely. Nothing. I don't. You know what I'm saying we done invested millions. And that's millions a, that's and a million. comment that but, really irritates me all the time when they yeah. say, "Oh, they pay for it." Well, they pay for it. Man, I, mm, I, that rubs me the wrong way. Yeah. I, I yeah, swear, it, it rubs me the wrong way too. But that's you know that's the internet yeah. that's the business if, and if people don't know they just don't know and people are so used to what done traditionally happen over time with a lot of record labels and you know or whatever and I think the world just don't realize that it's it's still genuine absolutely genuine people out here you yeah, know what I'm saying absolutely and y'all do a lot that. of leading we with care and let, let me absolutely. just go back it's like because we really care right man. that's what like, I was gonna say like no we really care because we care man you, I mean but it's you know like. But, not, that, not, but that heartache not, not, is not, not just not just we care. It's like we all get money together. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. And you, you you know you want to feel good, and you want the people around you that you get money with to feel good. And you know I always look at it like, man, this shit ain't in out my pocket anyway. Because guess what? We gonna make that money back later on. Whatever. You know and what I'm saying? Artists, I, I learned, that's the thing I learned from y'all now dealing with artists. Just when you when you make your artists feel good. Like when you do this, I think they feel good about themselves, yeah, almost and, they, and they they're more mm-hmm. confident, and they and they just more and they, and it, and the loyalty strengthens, you know, because they don't feel like oh man, they's the person trying to sneak me or snake me or, you know, what I'm saying like that. I I, I I learned that's one thing that it plays a long part, just like showing love and and being there for somebody and outside of fuck what you what you owe me or yeah. you ain't making me no money yeah. just like showing mm. up even mm. if it's consistently yeah. time and time again yeah. it's like continuing to have someone's back even yeah. if they ain't you know uh, like I think that played a long part um, just with you and, absolutely um, business that we got 
going forward. You wouldn't want to be in business with nobody because it was a, it was you had a down point in your mm -hmm. career. You know, and, what I'm was, saying? and nothing you, ever, you, you, and nothing you, ever changed, you, ever. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't not one moment when. You know, you was on your down period. It ain't not one time when you never answered the phone. It wasn't now time to you, your family, anybody. Absolutely. We gonna come through, we don't give a damn if we ain't made no money in two years together. Mm -hmm. Still pulling up, yeah. dropping out uh, new Ferraris. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Both birthday. Yeah. Back, back, back. Man, 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 back, back. Man, man, you wrecked it, I never forget. Man, get <laughs> get with it. Maybe this will get his morale up. We yeah. know he going through a cold period right now. That's the 25th? Yeah. Wait, I ain't gonna lie. It was 23, 24. It was twenty three and twenty four. Twenty one and twenty three. Twenty two and twenty three. But just, but just think. No, it was twenty two. Um, um, was it? Was it twenty one? Twenty one. Uh, the red. Twenty three. Twenty three. The white. But, but, but just, yeah. but just. Michael think, Jordan. We got you. But just, yeah. but, just <laughs> yeah. but just think about it though. Think about where where you was at at that point, like yeah. far with your career. Mm -hmm. Things weren't really good. Things yeah. weren't. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know we got other, but at the same time, it's like. Man, we we'll give a damn because we ain't making no money right now. You know what I'm saying? We still want you to feel good about being on the but team. But shit, even y'all artists that wasn't making no damn money, I was buying cars. It was, it was just love. It Wait, was hold love on. That's what I was going to say from the outside looking in, like when it was buying you. Like when you was at that low point in your mm -hmm. career and you was getting Ferraris, I'm like, what? Wait, yeah. Got, well, do we got something going on or something? Yeah. He's making right. a Ferrari right now. Yeah. Like, I could have sworn shit was kind of like, nah, like how this man, work? Like, man, like our son, he like our son, like our yeah. little brother. So he like. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was gonna ask y'all when when Bo was having like a low point in his career, did y'all always knew like he was gonna get out of it? Most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Cause we do. We, we knew his talent. We knew um, he a creative. We know he was man, a creator. So exactly. At yeah. any point that shit could turn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Think about this. I remember shit got you know things were changed. Let's say musically things were changing, going a different place. He was like, man, I really want to jump into this acting shit. You know what I'm saying? For real, why things were changing. He took that shit serious. He started taking classes. Like, was real serious about it. You know what I'm saying? And and in that in in that little change period, he was able to you know start getting being taken serious as an actor too. Yeah. So that just builds. That just that's something to add on to his brand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You was really taking classes too. That was no that was dead serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wow, this yeah, 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 actually was taking, taking acting classes, classes. <laughs> like yeah, serious. Like, Ain't easy. Yeah. So let me ask y'all because you got so many. I think you got some big execs out there that still need some help. What, what, what could you guys say are three key, three key things to practice as a first time exec? Someone is trying to start up from the ground up. First thing is patience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just knowing that you ain't gonna knock it out the park the first time. You ain't gonna knock it out the park the second, third, fourth time. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta have enough patience. If it's something that you believe in, you just gotta have enough patience to. Um, Stick with it, continue to develop it until y'all, till y'all hit y'all a home run. You know what I'm saying? Because you can you can miss you can you can miss a hundred a hundred swings, but on that hundred and one swing, Go you on. knock it out the park. It's gonna make up for mm -hmm. you know th those hundred. You know what I'm saying? You know how this this business is. One hit can change your life. You know what I'm saying? So I say drive, but drive and passion the same. Cause you, like to be an executive, or uh, you know. You you got, you will you gotta be willing to invest in something, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta really be passionate about it, and have the drive to push it because s s you know s some artists need a lot of help, some don't, but some of them need a lot of help, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta be really passionate about it. I mean, don't don't get into this business thinking it's just a it's a lick or a quick flip, because yeah. you're gonna lose your ass. Yeah. For real. For a long time. Before. For a long time. The before. third thing, mm. budgeting. Yep. Because mm. we used to live without a budget. Yeah. That's sure how we did. built our business. You know what I'm saying? But in hindsight, looking back, you know, because because with us, it was like we was doing it all wrong. We we, we, we we was doing it all wrong. We was doing it all wrong. We was doing it all right. Mm. No one ever seen it. But when we up back in our closed mm. doors, we was fucked up a lot of times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Budgeting. Budgeting. Mm. Cause if you don't pay attention to the to the money, the money will evaporate. And then mm -hmm. if you ain't got nothing, you can't do nothing. You right. feel what I'm saying? So you know, that's you, that's another thing. You gotta have money to be an executive. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you gotta have money if you want to build anything. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I'm just gonna say, it, bro. It seemed like the money never, ever, ever <laughs> went to zero. Right. 
ever. Yeah, outside yeah, looking yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, yeah man, because you, I thought this man P was like literally a bank. Like just was a bank. Like like it never went to zero. You know what I'm saying? It, like, I mean, it, it go to zero, but you know, it's, it's, it, you, you build a cash flow. You know what I'm saying? Once you get good at something, you know what I'm saying? The cash flow is there. Me and you, we, we be having our side conversation true, about this all the time. You know what I'm saying? Once you done built something that you know the cash flow come. But we also say, I, I swear to God, we can't, we can't, we can't leave out how we think, how me and you talk all the time. Good things happen to good people. No, most definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Most definitely. Most Let me definitely. tell you something. This man used to tell me all the time, man. This is, this is real shit. When I say zero, mm -hmm. this is, this is the, and me and P, we might get on the phone. P said, "Man, I just take the account, man. The check just hit for a million dollars. Out of nowhere. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Yeah. And he'd be like, man, it's just God. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I ain't this man. Man, this man used to go to church every Sunday, man. Especially in the in the in the building that listen and pay his tithes. Mm -hmm. He's like, man, I had to go pay the tithes, man, because." So we can keep staying blessed. You, you never, you never put nothing over the, over the church. Uh, Every New Year, I, I yeah, swear to God, remember, people yeah. I never know that man. He, yeah. people think he partying in the club, man. He ain't never put nothing before that church, yep. yeah. ever. Yeah, always yeah. paying tithes, and he gonna always on the first, on that thirty first of December at midnight, be sitting in the church. Yeah, I've been there a couple yeah. times. Yeah, we were there too. We've been there too. Yeah. Yeah. Been there. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. We he in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and I, Gotta I can, we can't first. leave. I just quit. Never owe it to anything other than. The look, the faithfulness, the faithfulness to you know, the to, creator. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And being and just being and being good, being, being good, good and being and doing good business, man. Mm -hmm. We ain't never did no crooked bad business. No, never no, did no crooked business. Or never been crooked businessmen. And if we owe you, we pay you. This is what it is. You know, you hear a lot of stories of labels not paying and this and that. Hey, man, we owe you. We are gonna pay you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I credit this man. He don't like to owe nobody. You know what I'm saying? He's like, what? Pay him. But we ain't got that much money. Can we just, no, let's pay him. Let's get him out the way. You know what I'm saying? But pay him, man. You know, that, that's what really kept our face our, our face cards really clean and good in the business. Everybody do business. Say, hey, they do great business. They pay. You know, they pay on time. Mm -hmm. My Ferraris and Rolls Royce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big old chains. Mm -hmm. hold, on, hold on, I got a question for you, though. Mm -hmm. I want you to be honest like you told me. Mm -hmm. How did you feel when you first came? To the label, I tell it, you, because, because it was. I remember those days. We, uh, you we almost, can actually talk about it because nobody you, you, knows. You what, I know what you're gonna say. Nobody. You, you knows almost broke our like. label up. Oh yeah, nobody knows that. <laughs> yeah, nobody. Nobody knows. Know. So I'll, I'll talk about it, man. I never forget. I used to be in high school. I was on the yearbook staff, senior year, and we got we had computers because we had to we had to make the yearbook. Yeah. And it, we had it was a room square full of computers, and we supposed to be editing. And I used to spend class period every day, me and Earl, we was on the yearbook staff. And first thing I would do is I would hack the computer and put a proxy server on it. Cause they used to, school laptop computers used to have all the sites blocked. Yeah. So I would hack the computer, put a proxy site on it, put a proxy server on it so I could get into YouTube, get into Twitter. And man, I would sit and I used to watch the vlogs at our studio when everyone was sitting in the studio. Everyone would be there and I would sit there and I'd watch and it'd be Young Thug, it'd be Rich Homie Quan, and it'd just be in the rooms, it'd be Skip it or Flip and I'd be like, man, QC Lake was so cool. And that's when I was, I ain't gonna lie, at that time I was the biggest OG Mako fan. I was like, <laughs> OG Mako is like the sickest because he was he was running with Key. Key I yeah. thought Key was the shit and it was just like, he was like, at the time he was the outcast at, at, yeah. at QC. Oh, you know, boy, was he? Yeah, exactly. You know, So I used to be like, man, I want to be QC so bad, and it was my thing. And and for the longest, I I didn't know a P. I just knew a you. I thought yeah. it was just you. And that's when I was, I was doing music, but it was not serious. And then I graduated, and I was trying to get to you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And and then you know, long behold, you know my so the story obviously we've told before. But my dad knew you, and he was trying to connect us. Connected. And yeah. that shit happened. And then I came, and I'll never forget coming. Pause. And being on the label and, and thinking, wow, the Migos, wow, Skip with a Flipper, wow, uh, uh, OG Mako. And then it was just be like, 
I'll never get Quavo. Man, Quavo used to be so mean you, to remember, me. Remember you had just signed and we did the big photo shoot and you was I, late to get there? Absolutely. He was, he was late <laughs> and then make the, make the, the shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and I wasn't on the wall. On. Man, they had a picture and I was I was the only one I was not on the wall. I used to feel some type. We used to have this big group picture in our, in our studio and everyone was on it except for me. Yeah. I was like, how am I not on this wall? I was like, I'm not on the wall. And it took months <laughs> until I finally changed the picture to the QC picture because I was the only one not on the wall. It's like, I'm not on the wall. It was that one picture from, from yeah, the yeah. magazine shoot. It was so crazy, man. Man, I used to have, it was this end family thing that turned into this, like, it, it became like a friendly beef. It became, it was this thing of like battling. It was me versus all three Migos when it came to cars, when it came to jewelry, <laughs> when it came to women, when it came to clothes, everything. It was this battle between me. But I was going against three. Quavo got a new chain. I had to get a new chain. Offset got a new chain. I get a new chain. Take out getting a new watch. Well, then I'm going to go get a new watch. Because I used to always feel like I, they were, everyone was trying to little bro me. And I felt like everyone was trying to like, oh, he the youngin. It's, at first, they thought it was weird as shit. They thought it was like a, a fucking weirdo. They was like, what y'all doing? This nigga is weird as fuck. i never forget. And they used to, and, they, and it was like a thing when like, at first, no one would get on the record with me. I'll never forget at first skip, until Skipper the Flipper. Yep. And, and Skipper the Flipper was the the first person, and he was the nicest person. What about was, what about Rich the Kid? Rich the Kid was Rich the Kid was he was, <laughs> he, was he was he was cool. He, he, he showed he showed love to me eventually. Um, I, I just remember I, the most thing I remember is Quavo was mean as shit. Quavo was mean as hell. And Offset, once he found but out who Quavo, my brother but, but, but was. But Quavo, he, he eventually yeah, came Quavo around. Came around. They started. They start. Shit, I, you had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was so damn, I was hot. You know what I'm saying? Hot on the yeah. skillet. You had no choice but to be like, hold yeah. on now. Hold on. Yeah. He, yeah. he doing something yeah. right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'll never discredit, man. Skip it, flip it, and take off. Mm -hmm. Take off was, from the second he met me, extremely nice you know and just welcoming and open arms OG Mako he didn't really show much love either um he was cool but we I don't think we ever did a record I mean shit I, I was just like I was the young kid and nah, they felt like I was taking all y'all attention but I think what it was I think they just didn't understand how because you know some of them had been over there for a little minute yeah. and they ain't had reached that level and it was like as soon as you got over there it was like you just went up and 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 I think we was catching a lot of backlash from them because they didn't they they didn't understand at the time like it wasn't anything that we was necessarily doing you know what i'm saying right. like you had the talent it was just a shift too it, 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 shift right it, you know music it was a was, shift happening yeah it was a shift happening at that time i think you was like one of the people that was at the forefront of it and you know they didn't understand like damn how he um how he getting the sprite deals or how he mm -hmm. and they might have necessarily been thinking like it was something that we was pushing, but they didn't know our phones was just blowing up like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know. But it was a shift every year, though, man. That's what we. Yeah. That's what we's known for. We signed to Migo. This, this, this how we always used to our our year when we go into breaking the artist. Mm. South by Southwest. Yeah. We signed to Migos. We went down to South by Southwest. We stole South by Southwest. The OG, the OG Mac, this, yeah, stole it, stole it again. Still in that place, and you what? And a flesh. Put on cell phones, sell it, pull up out. Bitch, you can't say I'm still with my niggas. And then Kane stole it. Stole it. Yeah, we were, yeah, yeah, that's what we was. Ah, hey. Diamonds on the nigga necklace. Yeah, that's ice, ice water. All these bitches, they gon' call me. Dunk the pussy, Vince Carter. Oh, all these bitches, they gon' call me. Cause they know a nigga next. That shit when baby came. Yeah, when baby came. Stole it again. Yeah, yeah. I'm in this bitch TV. I'm in this bitch for Drake. I just pulled up me a A. Real nigga all in my face. We was, we ran South by. Ran South by. We ran every showcase. Doing some good days. Yeah, oh man. Doing some great days. the best days. It was, it was, it was. We was down there deep, yeah. shirt same shirts, shirts deep, posted everywhere. <laughs> man, it was man. I, man, 
Man, it was. It was uh, so many of us. It, it, yeah, it, it was, was so fun. Everybody's friends were there. Like 150 like 100. people. Yeah. yeah. Two buses. Yeah, two buses. Yeah. We in the vans. It was yeah. like it was different. It was more flight. It was fun. It was yeah. fun. Who you think was paying for them 150 people that were down there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> deep. Mm-hmm. And all of it. Every shirt. Every poster. Every. It was great time. That was, was a takeover. Yeah, it, it was. It, it, it was, was some good times. Those were good days. I really great time. I really missed those days. I do too. Me too. I miss. But you. But you want to know what was so good about those days? Everybody was just like moving as a unit, as a family, and it, and it wasn't just about the business, cause like everybody ain't had made money back then, and the, all the money ain't had start pouring in, and you That's know what I'm saying. saying? That video you, you, you that you posted, that video, video. in the studio, y'all in the studio, baby count money, oh, amigos. Man. Oh, yeah. but that's when we were all in the studio every day, yeah. all you know, night. That yeah, video yeah, clip yeah, you posted, yeah, yeah, not too long ago. Man, did you see that? Baby had posted it too. On did you really? Yeah, I, I didn't really it see was it. Like, I know um, the video, but oh, I, man, I had all the jury out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah Sarah yeah, was yeah, in yeah, there. Sarah yeah, was there. Yeah, man, yeah. those times were yeah. so great, bro. But, but just, Epic but, times. But, but, but I wish but, we had uh, camera rolling. But you, but listen, time. but listen, you know what was great about those times though? It wasn't all about this at all. At all. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was cool. Mm-hmm. No, you we, know, we want all these outsiders in everybody's ears. Yeah, you sure. feel what I'm saying? Saying you know, we was whatever, locked what, in. whatever. Everybody we was, was just locked in, and everybody and was, about each other. Get, every, every, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and everybody was you know, it was cool. Sometimes when the business when the business just get, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, it's, 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 inter- it's sort of sort of interrupt but, things, but you know, it's, yeah, it was doing, doing, some, doing some good times. What do you think the state of QC is now. I think we're in a rebuilding. Mm-hmm. We're in a rebuilding rebrand. state. Rebrand. Mm-hmm. Rebrand. Rebrand and rebuilding. If somebody wanna get signed to QC, like what's like how should they go about doing it? You think? Like what's the best way to go about like getting signed to QC? Be seen. Yeah, like, just, yeah. We'll yeah, find you. Yeah. You know what we'll I mean? find you. I mean there's some there's some I guess there's some people there's some there's some talented artists out there that you know that you can catch before you know any noise. You know All right, so check this out. When I was young, I had that padded cast from Shattered Glass. So now I lay low like cataracts on the level on the map. I don't care about your annex. Turn up on your rap mechanics. I ran in and standing in front of a clan of addicts, asking if this a hit. My main bitch is Catholic and African. I'm rough as ashy skin. You horse like that saddle in, like a horse. <laughs> saddle, you horse like that saddle. Yeah. Oh wow! I never caught that bar. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. If you listen to what I'm saying, keep working, bro. <laughs> oh, coach, you gonna keep working me? Oh man! Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I, I really never caught that See bar. See, that was a bar, but you get just keep working. <laughs> what you think, B? Say it again. <laughs> All right, I, hold on, hold on. <laughs> When I was young, I had that padded cash from shattered glass. So now I lay low like cataracts. I'm the legend on your map. I don't care about your annex. Turn up on your rap mechanics. I am running and standing in front of a clan of addicts, asking if this a hit. My main bitch is Catholic and African. I'm rough as ashy skin. You whores let that saddle in. I'm rough as ashy skin. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm with the verse that's now. Yeah, that's that's what I'm telling you, bro. I think it's your delivery so that you gonna, makes it. You going to put a verse on the concrete family? Huh? <laughs> Damn, yeah, bro. I didn't, you, he tell me to keep working. He said, "It's just me and P and this shit. It's just me and P. Me and P don't. They gotta keep grinding, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, <I'm dead. laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. All All right. right. I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. Let's. Let quickly. Let I want to know from each of you, and y'all might have the same uh, answer. But what? What are? What do you guys think? Some of the best labels. It could be rap labels, but just the best labels in history. Yeah, like ever. Like that. Like, like I know for sure Cash Money is what made no, you. N- number one, Cash Money. Cash no, Money. Number one, Birdman and Slim. The my idols. Which, which one did you think? What, what label did Se- you Second, think? Master P and No Limit. No Limit. Motown. Motown. That's, that's very, very good. The Face, too. The Face right there. Yeah, The Face. What yeah. LA did. I just watched this video of Big Boy and Sleepy Brown on GQ. And I just didn't know how, like, I didn't know. How, they was like, man, bro, I think the difference between labels back then and now, like, they really had niggas in there, like, making records and just 
damn near giving it to artists. Yeah. Like it was produced, it was wrote, the hook was crazy. All you had There's a bunch of musicians here. Yeah. A bunch of writers, a bunch yeah. of producers. The artist was just like the face kinda. LA came here and he created music business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there was labels. You know what I'm saying? There was labels throughout the South. Yeah. But he rung the music business yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? Like where writers, publishing companies, producers, instrumentalists, writers, instrumentalists and he brung all that and he, and he identified with them. Mm -hmm. The JDs, the Dallases, the yeah. Dungeon family. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What, what, but they were all the face? J Jermaine Dupree too? All of them came from the face. Damn. That's crazy. And TLC, right? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, came from under the face when he came here. So wait, all of them at the same time though? Yeah. That's insane. But that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Outkast, TLC, Jermaine Dupree. Because Jermaine else? was producing. Usher too, right? Us, yeah, but I'm saying, Damn. you got to think, you had LaFace, JD was a young producer, which he left and, and ended up doing his own so, thing. So, so deaf. So, so deaf, but in the in the rise in the beginning, you know what I'm saying, LA I don't identified. know, bro, it was, yeah. man, Jermaine had Chris Cross, I was a but, little boy when. But LaFace was before that. LA, the face was the yeah, first. Yeah. yeah, Chris Cross was so so deaf. No, no, they, they, yeah, they yeah, were so so deaf. So, so deaf. Yeah. Yeah. That was his first. That was his first was, talent yeah. when he when he dipped off because he was producing him and him and him and Dallas was producing all that shit. Chris Cross was out before TLC, bro. Bro, listen to me. He was producing, but when they out before TLC, no, they wasn't. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. That's crazy. I hope no tears. And he was come, come after me for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that was that. that I, I didn't. They must have been right? one of the biggest labels. The face, bro. I think Chris Cross was out before all. Uh, Google it. Wait, all this, I bro. Google it right now. Like real talk, bro. So why are we looking at? Uh, I just want to talk about because Takeoff was so quiet that people don't know how great he was. I mean, not not musically. Everyone knows how musically great he was. He was like. So, not only was he fucking hilarious, you know, which I always thought was so interesting because he would never share it on camera. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I don't know if he just didn't like, because I never asked him because he would just, he would never be that way with me. So I don't know. You think he didn't like cameras or do you think he just like, like he was so reserved. He just reserved, man. Right. You know, but what, what do you think? You think, do you think it was because he felt like it was a reason? I think that was just his personality. Yeah. People don't. You're a real reserved person, to an extent. To an extent, but yeah. like I, when the camera's on, I can be yeah. little yachty. Yeah, you he, know? Just, he just that was just him. You know, he was just always been reserved. Man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If he knew you, if he's around you, then you, you know, yeah. comfortable with you. Yeah. Oh, he was. It was hilarious. interesting seeing a rapper like that though. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Big God. He, he literally did the least. Like I was like he didn't, he didn't, never did a lot. Yeah. yeah. But he, but he knew a lot. Yeah. He didn't but say much, quiet, but he though. knew. So smart, man. Yes. He breaks down some of his rap sometimes. He'd be like, whoa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Big movie buff. You know what I'm saying? Big, like, movie, like, yeah. cartoon, like, like yeah. yeah. Man, he, anything, P, you want to share? You know, take off. He was just take off, bro. He, he, great, 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 great spirit, great energy, man. He was one of the only people that, you know, I'm, I think y'all two can say this too. You never see him change. Never. Oh. Attitude, no matter what's going on. I don't never. Care if it's good, if it's bad, whatever. He, he just, he just never. And I'm tell you the truth. I never heard him say nothing negative about anybody. No, I'm probably not ever. Didn't I tell you that before? Yeah. You said that. I, I told that the coach one time. I said, bro, <laughs> think about one time we ever heard takeoff. I ain't never heard just, him diss nobody. Just, I ain't never heard him make fun of nobody. Like, speak, I, speak negative about anybody. Like just he the peacemaker. He, man. he yeah. He like, Somebody doing wrong. Like I say within his crew, he'd be like, "Man, you wrong." He'd tell them, "Yeah, man, you wrong, man. Mm -hmm. Like you wrong." Mm -hmm. yeah. Insane, man. Such a beautiful soul, a beautiful person. We miss you so much. Take off. Yeah, we do. Rest in peace. Take off. Rest man. in peace. Um, man. Uh, let's get into. We, we, we do this segment <clears throat> where people send in questions or ask for advice. And, and, and they just, you know, we, we try to help them as, as best as we can. Right. Um, guys, don't you ever forget, you can always send your questions to a Safe Place Pod on Instagram. Um, let's see what we have today. You guys are insane, and I want to pray for you guys with your life. So let's see what we have today. Number one. All right. 
So me and my friend was going to this concert and was making up scenarios like, if we see this nigga, what we finna do? Mind you, we love this nigga, so all of his sound is groupie. So, I'm, so what I'm asking is, how do we not give groupie but tell him we love him and appreciate his music? Mitch, go ahead. <laughs> just let you figure that one out. <clears throat> I say, just be a groupie. Because they it's needed. Like, rap ain't rap without groupies. Like I don't want you to not be a groupie. Just don't overthink it. Yeah. Just be a groupie. Let bro have his but moment. What, hey, even it's a difference can, between a groupie exactly. and, a fan, and a fan, though. <laughs> it's very thin. It's at a thin point, line, though. It is. You, you blocking your face. Oh. At, at this point, <laughs> it's a thin line, but it's like, where did that even come from being a... Like, you can't even be a fan anymore. Yeah. Like, without, like, it being, like, oh, you're a groupie, you know? I think social media killed that because there was a point when social could, media killed everything. social media killed everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because it was a point when you could be a fan. You could be a Michael Jackson fan at a point in time and then not be weird. You know, yeah. gangsters was like Michael Jackson fan for real. You know, you lame. You're a groupie. Wow, because I like somebody, bro. Damn, I'm a fan. And support. And support. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask y'all a question. We got we last episode we had this thing about supporting a friend versus oh. supporting someone that. Like, say, like a, a artist or someone that you love their their work. Do you, it's it's a thin line, but what do you think about having someone? Let's say someone that maybe is like someone you grew up with, somebody's son or or somebody that do music that wants you to maybe post it or want you to check it out. Like, like, and it's like they're like, oh, but you support, you know, you posting these people music or something. But it's like that thin line of like, man, you gotta support what you like. You know what? For the long, for the longest, I ain't gonna lie, I was super nice to everybody, but it came a point in life where, just for myself healing, you gotta say no to some things. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, I think it's just honesty and being real. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm at a point now. Cause I, I used to get that shit all the time, and I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I just be like, man, listen, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. I say no. But, I tell but, them it ain't but good. Me, but, but let me, but let me ask you something. What is it gonna hurt you though to post it? But it, it, I mean, it, it, I tell you, it hurt, it hurts your credibility. Right. That's what because I was if you continue to post things that aren't good, then it'll look like you don't have a taste for music. If you continue it's to post yeah. tons of content that are low quality, it looks like oh, well, he even no good music, you know. And then when you post something that is good, people don't give a damn to look at it because you got fifty story posts of fifty artists that ain't good. I that's why I think that less content. I think less qua less quantity. Higher quality, you know. So that, that, it, that's that, what it is. It hurts. It hurts that, you. But sometimes we don't know, though. I, 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 I never, I never looked at it like that. You know, but, but I do feel like you should support your friends and your. No, I support it, my even friends. if it ain't good. <laughs> but what we just said, you support everybody, though. If you if yeah. you like somebody, you are gonna support. Yeah. Them. No, but, it's, but, but I support but, my but, friends. But Pete, man, I might get a cut. You know. But what? Hey, but man. what? But what is it gonna hurt? Because it do. I can understand where the friends coming from because. I mean, I see it done to me all the time. You know what I'm saying? I see people supporting other people's stuff, and they might not necessarily support my. I'm like, man, you ain't support my shit, nigga. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I'm the reason. Like, right. whatever, whatever. You feel what I'm saying? And you do. You might do feel a certain kind of way because you want your friends to support you, just like you support them. So you got to understand from their standpoint. Like, hey, you might be out here supporting a stranger. You know what I'm saying? Like, but my music not might not. Good. Hold on, my, my music might not be good. And this song, this song. Um, that I ask you to post might not necessarily be good, but somebody gonna like it. And you, you know what I'm saying? You might don't like it, but there's other people out there that might like it. You know what I'm saying? And you helping me get visibility is like helping me. You feel what I'm saying? So you don't want to help your friends? You don't want to support your friends? I do support my friends, but some things I say no. Oh, my friends say no. Like, back. As, as, as a booth. music exact, like your I'll job right is there to with you. music. I mean, you ain't like you gotta post it on your on your main page, say yeah. just put it on your little um story. But I usually and post. They notice that though. You know, they notice stuff like that. Certain though. things. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah, but you like, damn, nigga, I put it on. I put it on my story. Like, I appreciate you, bro. You putting the close friends, bro. I appreciate. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> certain, certain things, I'd I be like, ah, right, no. So I, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, but no. Nah. I, I get what he's saying, though, but sometimes, yeah, bro, sometimes, bro, you do just gotta support it though. Sometimes, sometimes, because we don't know. Like, just because I don't like it, you know what I'm saying? So. I do. Somebody go. Somebody gonna like it. But if it's it. terrible, bro, I cannot. I just. It don't make sense. I don't feel like it makes sense for. That's what I'm saying. It don't make sense to do. Put you on the on this on this. You know, in front of people, and I know that it's it's terrible. Now, now if I don't know, then I'll post it because I don't know, know everything. You, but you know how many things that I thought was terrible, that 
that me. went that, that I passed on and that or end up me and that end up being <laughs> like, he, like, like he didn't like he didn't like my stuff at first. <laughs> hey man, I never forget. <laughs> I got it back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, this. <laughs> no, I did. I did it. Yeah. No, I'm. 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 I'm, I'm what did you hear? What was the first time? No, no. What? No. I, no. no Where Coach did that Kobe, conversation go. Pete, how did Coach the conversation Kobe, go? I called him. He, I said, he called man, me I, one day. He said. He said. He said, "Bro, I need you to come to the studio." He said, "Man, just come sit down with me real quick." I was like, "All right." And I pulled up, and we went into the little small room, the C room. C room, yeah. He said, "Bro, I need you to." I need you to have your mind open when I show you this. <laughs> he said, I just need you to open your mind. I said, all right. Then he started playing me some records off SoundCloud. I ain't get what it was. I was like, you know when he got it? Well, uh, you remember when we went out to LA? No, 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 no. I got it in the studio. I didn't get it at first. Then he showed me the picture of him. Yeah, yeah. He had the red hair with the braids. I was like, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we we were just used to where, yeah. you know, yeah. where our shit was. Yeah. Remember the show in L.A. with Absolutely. the artists? And they I, were locked I, up. I and he was, he, was, he was in there looking like, boy, you hear this shit? <laughs> <laughs> boy, you see his phone? The free show. The free show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, but 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 when he played, uh, I didn't I didn't get none of the other music. But when he played, you Minnesota. don't remember when he played Minnesota, Minnesota though? Minnesota, when yeah. that little beat, when that beat came in, yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, this shit hard. Yeah, and I was just like, all right, cool, whatever you with, I'm with. Yeah, and the rest was yeah. history. <laughs> it had to grow on me. Yeah, but but you open minded now. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Um, so two is let's get to the second question. <clears throat> Hey, Boat and BBL Bandit. Um, I'm 18 in high school with a girlfriend of almost 18 months. I genuinely love her, and she has wifey potential. Her family owns businesses, so I'm in my bag. But I have never, but I have this never-ending desire to fuck a bunch of other girls. I don't want to make a mistake and let my wife and material girlfriend go, but my desire to fuck other girls has never gone away since we started dating, no matter how hard I try. Please let me know what I should do. Should we can all help them with this. I'm gonna let Coach down. They don't crucify me. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, just stay focused and stay. Stay focused. Stay focused, <laughs> stay focused brother, and, and stay in there. <laughs> stay focused. We're in a ride, we're crazy times right now. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Mitch, what you got for him? Shit, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Welcome to the club, brother. <laughs> just do what we all do, bro. Just um, cheat and just hold God with you. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's like everybody, everybody doing that shit. You ain't gonna never lose your desire to want to fuck other bitches. That is crazy, bro. At that point, you probably not even a human no more. You gonna always want to fuck bitches. Just I always find it interesting God in the guys that doing. do like meet someone in high school. Like, yeah, I'm good. Interesting. Man, them niggas need a Nobel. <laughs> Nobel something. High Why school and done. Why BBL bandit, bro? <laughs> Long story, coach. Just, okay. It's just complicated. What? Oh, that was real? Yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah. The BBL bandit? Why did yeah, There's a lot of work in for this shit. This BBL shit. What, you You got a BBL? No, no, it's not that I got one. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a spokesperson for it. You get what I'm saying? Why? Because like, I just oh, like like, like, he like he like He like women with BBLs. Yeah. I get it. The BBL bandit. Abba, it's Abba everybody see. everybody need one of the yeah. books around. It's an advocacy. Yeah. Um. All right. Third. So I'm 18 and my ex tried to OD and ended up oh, fighting out, finding out she was pregnant and told me it was a possibility it wasn't mine, but she wanted me to help her raise it and she wanted me to she wanted to be with me still. But when she found out it wasn't mine, she left me and went to the BD. What should I do? Cause it really hurt me. Not gonna lie, there's a lot more, but that's the main thing. Mm. Get the fuck over it, loser. Mm. Fuck, she had a baby. It wasn't yours. You should be happy. You're 18. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you kind of. Yeah, you seen, still got your life ahead man. of you. Yeah, I don't lie. Especially if it was, she said that it couldn't have been, it was a possibility, it wasn't yours from the start. Yeah. That's God letting you know, bro, this is a bullet. I mean, you dodged a bullet. You know? <laughs> be happy, that's a blessing. Don't lie, my boy gotta get some get back. <laughs> he got to take control, raise that kid to be the worst kid ever, bro. <laughs> no cap. You just be his dad. Just take over, be his dad, and just raise the worst kid ever and leave. Leave her with it. <laughs> no cap. Just disappear. And just disappear. You gotta get back. She had a whole baby on you, bro. That's crazy. Oh baby, so you gonna raise a kid? I'm raising the worst kid ever. I'm making Lil RT look like Chick Fil A staff. Look up. <laughs> <laughs> a Sixty miles, little boy. I make that nigga look like I'm raising the worst kid ever. Damn, but what about the kid, bro? 
when they get grown, they can figure that out. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> your mom is fucked up, man. No, I'm saying if it's him, though, no, I, I wouldn't do that. I'm saying it's him as him because you know oh, she damn. she doing all type of shit. But do that, bro. Do that. Well, um, Jesus, man, how where you come up with these things? I don't even. You are fucked, bro. You know you're going to hell. No, I'm, not, I'm helping the youth. It's so it's like it's like it's almost as if like it's just he started. Cause I just be it. mad, bro. Look at read the first line. What a question. Read the first line. So I'm 18 and my ex OD tried to OD and ended up finding out she was pregnant and told me a possibility it wasn't mine. That's even the sad. first thing she that comes to my mind is, is get back, bro. Yeah. Like, come on, that's crazy. Yeah, that's sad though. I ain't gonna lie. She that's tried sad. to OD. Yeah. Um, How many more of these sad? These questions. Yeah, that, that <laughs> damn, we couldn't get no. Yeah, they're offensive. <laughs> offensive. All these shits went like cheating, <laughs> OD. Yeah, like, yeah, no, it's never a good one. Yeah, like, like some positive. Are they shit. doing something good out there? Like, um, well, every you know, I want to thank you guys again for coming on because I know P, you are not a fan of uh, podcasts and these things, <laughs> so I appreciate you so much. Um, uh, we want to thank our sponsors, Happy Dad, as always. Wait, boy, let me get one. Because we bro, are all bro. happy dads in here. We're all sure. happy fathers in mm. here. Besides Mitch, you don't have no kids. But well, all happy dads who take care of our kids. That's right. Absolutely. And show up each and every time. And we had every birthday. And, and we were at, you know, uh, the births. You know what I'm saying? Make sure the mothers are um, doing well. Because, you know, it's nothing more important than our children. Um, as black fathers in this world and again I just you know before we get off here I want to let you guys know that I you know would not be where I am if it wasn't for you guys so I'm so grateful um, for all the things that you have done for me and all the knowledge you have instilled in me and all the moments when the internet was against me in the early days and I didn't know how to handle it you know and I and I didn't know how to take the criticism or the feedback or I didn't know why people hated me so much and if I had nobody in my corner ever, you two stood behind me ten toes and always reassured me that I was that guy and through the dark times that the light will come back again. So thank you guys so much and I will forever be embedded. You guys will always have me on y'all side. And I would just want to say that um, to everyone at home, make sure you keep subscribing. We're on our way to 300,000 subs. We just started and this is amazing. I'm grateful. Subscribe. Yeah, keep going. We're trying to get to a million next. So subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you like. Um, keep sending us our messages, and we we we, we appreciate you guys at home. So until next time, subscribe. We out. Money over, money over, money over, bitches. That's all. Money over.